Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Andre SOG Ward teases with a face-to-face -face picture with new light heavyweight champion Dimitri Bivo. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, a lot of you guys would have been mad at me if I didn't make this video, so I figured I would set some time aside to make this video. A lot of you guys sent this to me on Instagram. I went to see Black Panther for a second time. Shout out to the Bay Area, Ryan Coogler. Um, awesome film. I enjoyed it. I took my parents because they hadn't seen it and I took my sister and we all enjoyed it But speaking of the Bay Area Bay Area native Andre Ward He was in the Legends boxing gym and that's where light heavyweight champion Dimitri Bivo who has a fight coming up out of Russia. That's where he's from He has a fight coming up with Sullivan Barrera on a, on a New York card on the Kovalev Igor McKelkin card and He's getting ready for Sullivan Barrera. I don't know exactly what Andre Ward was doing in the gym. As you guys know, he works with HBO. This is a fight being televised by HBO. So I don't know. Maybe they had him doing some behind the scenes promo stuff for that particular fight. Maybe they just had him interviewing Dimitri Bivo. But he was there in the gym and then he posted this face to face picture. And it's good because you get to see him sized up. You get to see Andre Ward, who left the light heavyweight division and retired after defeating Kovalev not once but twice. And you see how he looks next to Dimitri Bivo. And Andre Ward actually looks a little bit like slightly taller, but it looks like they match up well. It's not a full body shot, but you kind of get the idea. So the fans speculate anytime they see stuff like this, like, oh, is he coming back? Because you have to keep in mind, he retired, but it wasn't that long ago. He's still from pictures and videos and stuff I've seen he still looks like he's in shape and this is a champion now Andre Ward already beat Bevo's upcoming opponent I was at the fight covered it as media and that was Sullivan Barrera he was actually the first to beat Sullivan Barrera when he was undefeated now maybe this is something that Andre Ward Andre Ward you can tell he learned from Floyd Mayweather a little bit on the cryptic side you know what I mean not Adrian Broner cryptic where he's posting all these these rants and stuff you don't know what he's talking about but on the Floyd Mayweather where it's like is he teasing a comeback is he what is it like because he just a couple weeks ago he said I'm I'm working on something special I'm weighing 199 pounds or something people are like oh what he's going to cruiserweight he's going to heavyweight so it's good it's, it's good to get the conversation open um I don't know what this means I don't know if like I said I don't even know what he was doing in the gym the only thing I can think of is his work with HBO maybe he was doing some kind of promo work and behind the scenes stuff for that upcoming fight since he lives in the Bay Area and Southern California is not far away so maybe they had him instead of like a Roy Jones or Jim Lampley or something go down there I don't know so all speculation will he come back I don't know obviously if Dimitri Bivol retains his title beat Sullivan Barrera impressively maybe that's a fight that could lure Andre Ward back Eddie Hearn just recently did an interview and he says he would love to match up after Tony Bellew fights David Hay. I'm assuming if he gets past him or he doesn't take too much damage, Eddie Hearn says that he would love to make Andre Ward versus Tony Bellew. So definitely some options. I don't know Ward's current weight. I don't know if he can make light heavyweight. I think he probably can, but it just depends. It depends on him. In terms of uh, what I've seen from him from being in his gym, the mindset he can do anything he puts his mind to so if he sets his sight on light heavyweight he can do it he's a gym rat he knows what it takes to be at the highest of levels obviously you want an olympic gold medal and it'll be interesting dimitri bivo this is really his first big step up against sullivan barrera so let me know how you think a fight with andre ward would play out if if they did fight let me know how you think the sullivan barrera fight plays out is it easy work? That'll be, like I said, it'd be definitely something HBO probably would pay for to have Andre Ward come back and then face a, again a big puncher out of Russia. 
I think in the Kovalev fight, just my perspective, I think HBO was looking for, like, tried to build Kovalev up, like, kind of like another Golovkin, you know what I mean? But Ward spoiled those plans by beating Kovalev. And then when it was too close for comfort, and some people said, hey, it's controversy, maybe you lost that fight, he did it again. So, there's no limit to what a God-fearing, persistent, determined man can do. Let me know what you guys think of this picture. What does this actually mean? How do they match up? Try your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sunday. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.